Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a late night stream. Guys, it's been so long. It's been about two months since I have streamed MKMobile. It's unacceptable. So this stream's going to be fun. I'm going to talk a bit about update 5.3 because I wanted to just share a few two cents I have about it. And my favorite character that I'm waiting for is obviously MK1 Smoke. MK1 Smoke would be an incredible... Bruh. Bruh. What is this? Ugh. This stream is looking great already. <laughs> my game will probably crash at some point due to this profile syncing, but it'll be okay. We'll just restart. Um. Hi, Kude. Uh, can I have a shout out? Big fan. My name is Carlo. Hello, Carlo. Thank you for watching. Fire God Liu Kang, please use him. I do have a team preset for Fire God Liu Kang, so, um, sure. <laughs> I set up a ton of team presets here for characters I think people would want me to use, like Nightmare, um, Circle Shadow, uh, even Noob Saibot has his own tier. I don't have a whole lot set up here for the stream, but I have a little bit. What's the next tower? That's an interesting question. And it all depends on whether we get a new tower in MK Mobile or whether they're gonna repeat an old tower. Now, the odds that it's gonna be a new tower are quite low because the developers don't make new towers anymore, which is something that I'm kind of okay with considering um, the newer towers, like there's so many in the game that old, repeating old towers works. Oh, hold on, give me one second, y'all. I did mute my game during the intro starting point. There we go. So now the game should be unmuted. Yeah, there we go. It's unmuted. It might be a little loud. Tell me if I, if you guys want me to turn it down at any point. But yeah. When's your next MK1 stream playing against viewers since it is now cross compatible? So MK1 isn't a game that I see a lot of viewers um, joining in for alone so what i think i'm gonna do is have something special with mk mobile on the side with it you see what i'm saying hopefully we can get something like that down uh but i am well welcome to do that or like kind of uh happy to try it but the problem is uh, i do suck <laughs> i might try to have to play on keyboard because uh controller i'm not great Keyboard, I'm also not great, but I, I think I'm better than con uh, controller. My biggest problem is like learning certain characters. Uh, no, I don't follow that guy, by the way, Andrew. I don't follow him. Doesn't really concern me. Uh, is the new tower coming? Well, maybe. Uh,. Uh, I guess, what, what, what do you mean by new tower? I just have to preference repeat. We didn't actually say what repeat could actually happen. Uh, I would believe uh, a repeat like Black Dragon Tower or a newer tower repeat like White Lotus. I think that's possible, like White Lotus. Something like that. What, what can we expect for the anniversary? Definitely discounts. Definitely discounts. But as for a game update not entirely sure last anniversary was definitely good but it was mostly because it was jam-packed with discounts also we didn't put our victory stance on that's embarrassing we need that victory stance going anyone else have any victory stances yeah we do okay gotta make sure to equip those what are we gonna be missing out on victory stances hell no okay when does classic tower f uh end I think it's about April 8th for the normal, but for the fatal, it's coming to a close like right away. Uh, I do believe the next update is going to take place while Classic Tower Normal is still going on. So the next tower will not be right away available with the next update. I don't think so. They've been doing this for a couple of updates now where we just get the tower. Um, or sorry, we get the next update with the current tower going, which is fine. Because, like, towers aren't the biggest part about MK Mobile anymore. Not in my opinion. Oh, this was a one for all? Oh, shoot. Do you think MK Mobile is dying? You can look at it from a certain angle that it's dying. But do I think the actual game is dying? Like, do I think that the... 
the game itself is okay. It just needs updates and content. That's the biggest thing is that the game needs content. And we are lacking that. So if you if you mean, is the game dying from that point of view? The answer is yes. We need content. And content creation is also dying because of the content. Yeah. Uh, this game has so much potential, though. I'm going to say that. So much. Just a few bits of new content would just bring light to this game on a massive scale. Just any sort of MK1 update. MK1 Scorpion was not enough MK1 stuff to justify. <laughs> you know what I mean? Any new leaks for... Uh, sorry, any leaks for the new season? No. You got a nice voice, man. You could do some voiceovers. I would love to do voiceovers. I just don't know what for. <laughs> what, you think I should do some sort of, like, anime? No, I don't think I should do an anime voice impression. <laughs> Rose voices like an angel? No way. <laughs> no way. Come on, guys. Stop hyping me up. <laughs> Please. Making me blush. Which new brutality or friendship could come? There's still a bit. Um, Brutality-wise, there's not a whole lot left. But friendship-wise, there's a ton of things they can add. I'm hoping for... Why does she look like that? I'm hoping for... Um, a friendship for Liu Kang, because Liu Kang would be pretty fun. Uh, Scarlet. We do have one for Katana, yeah. So Scarlet, Liu Kang. Oh god, there's just so many. What friendship couldn't come? Uh, Brutality-wise, though, not a whole lot. Need to go look back at the collection of this game. I don't have it written down. I probably should. Dakita needs one. Um... Who all needs it again? <laughs> you guys are gonna have to help me. All right, so someone's gonna have to help me. Who all needs brutality? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go back and look through all that. Uh, ninety nine cents from Nosy Boy two seven nine. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. You didn't attach a message, but I'm gonna give you a like. Looks like I can actually do that. That's pretty sick. I have chat enabled, so everyone could see that. I'm really glad that everyone can see that. Um, I wish I had some sort of donation thing that popped up, but I found out that they take like 40% and all they do is like help with the message displaying. And I'm like, that's, that's a lot. Like someone wants to support the creator, not a freaking service that all they do is go and pay in. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why I don't have that set up right now. I'm trying to figure out a way to do that without giving 40% to another company when is the update coming uh update 5.3 should be here in the next week or two so i would i would say uh april 1st to 2nd maybe third or fourth uh at most but the update is actually in development as we speak and i think it could be done the update itself when it comes to content might be done and ready to go the developers just need to um prepare their way of the announcing it or they're just doing uh their like cool down because they like to get the updates out when they're done testing mk mobile facebook has been quiet really is it the opposite now it was facebook that was super active and then twitter was just dead and now it, is it switching <laughs> yet again kuda you should give me money to get smoke to get a smoke to get us smoke, like what cigarettes? Or are you talking about smoke the character? <laughs> Cause if you're about to go get actual smoke, then no, <laughs> no, you're not getting the smoke. Not under my watch. It should update in a uh, future at Facebook. Like update us on Facebook. Yeah. I think all platforms should be active. It's honestly embarrassing that they don't have a good hold on that. Any special pack will come or what? Uh, for. For update 5.3, uh, it's not the update 5.3 that will bring special packs. What's going to bring bring special packs is the anniversary of MK Mobile. I expect to see every single pack. We're talking Elemental Warriors. We're talking Divine Storm. We're talking like, um, did I already say Killer Joke? Yeah, Killer Joke. Like I expect every single pack to drop for anniversary, and I expect there to be some serious discounts. Do you have any direct link with NRS? No, not in any way, shape, or form. I have no idea what's going on with them. Uh, I don't, I just don't. 
like before they update MK1 Scorpion before update. Oh, like tell us about the character before it comes? Yeah, it should be about a couple of days before the update that they tell us about it. They've been a little late to the party several times with each update. Uh, telling us about the characters that are coming. But they usually tell us about a couple of days before. So yeah, hopefully we get an update uh, telling us about it. I've seen a leak. Next characters are coming are MK1, Shang Tsung, and Sub-Zero from a French coding. Like, really? MK1, Shang Tsung, and Sub-Zero just all in one update? That would be amazing, by the way. I have to say, first off, that'd be amazing. I hope that's the next leak. Because getting two MK1s and a single update would be amazing. That would be pretty freaking sick. I'm down for that. Hopefully that's true. <laughs> MK1 Shang Tsung is a character I've kind of been hoping to, to get. Because in Onslaught, he looks way better than expected. And he also could be playing quite well in MK, MK uh, Mobile. Uh, Classic Shang Tsung's combo enders were amazing, so hopefully MK1 would be no exception. Would you ever do a face reveal? Uh, that just depends. Uh, we're, we're working our way up for that. We're working our way up. I want MK- What? Why did that not go through? I want MK1 Johnny. Same. <laughs> Same. MK1 Johnny would be pretty freaking sick as well. Mostly though, I want Smoke. Because I played Smoke in MK1, and his combo enders are just so freaking fun. He's one of the best characters in that game. And I just, I really want to see him in MK Mobile. You don't want to end up like Dream. Well, no, yeah. I hope that no one is like praying that I look like a god. Hopefully none of you guys are praying that I look like a god. Because I don't. Unfortunately, I do not have God's descent. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not a Giga Chad. I just need, um just decent expectations I, I need you guys to go okay that's a person that's a human being that's the kind of expectations we're looking at <laughs> like i don't look like an alien or maybe i do do you want mk1 quan chi not particularly i'm not a huge quan chi guy i just think the character is eh. i wouldn't be upset about him at being added though because a variety of mk1 characters is necessary to keep this game alive so I wouldn't be upset about it, but also at the same time, like, oh my god, we're gonna need to restart our game. This whole pop-up thing is getting annoying. If you say that the update is coming very soon, that means it'll arrive in the next one or two weeks. Uh, according to news I've received, it expected to arrive on March 27th. I've heard March 27th being thrown around. Um, that is a decent time frame to expect the update. So yeah. Do I play any other game for content? Um, no, not particularly. I don't play a whole lot of other uh, mobile games. I play a little bit of Genshin from here to from, from here and there. Um, why well, say from here and there? From time to time. But I, I also play a little bit of Onslaught. The leak is also a new tower design for Earthrealm Tower, a friendship for Sub Zero, and an ice cream truck. Uh, friendship for oh, was that no, sorry? The ice cream truck friendship for Sub Zero and the friendship for Liu Kang. Wait, two friendships and one update? Well, how's that going to work? They're just going to skip brutalities? They're like, oh no, brutalities are too difficult for us to add. What? This is a boss. Oh, this is a boss. My bad, guys. I wonder why I was doing so poorly. Because we're fighting bosses. We're not doing normal battles anymore. We can't just expect massive damage. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're going to need to switch teams. Um... That would be interesting to have two friendships in a single update, but it's worrisome if that's actually true. Because brutalities are something they can't just stop adding. They can't just go, oh yeah, we, we don't really know what to do with that. It's considered a big update. Yo, yeah, regardless, I would be happy even if we got two, two friendships. I'm not- where is these, le these leaks coming from though? Um, make sure to send me a message, monkey222222. You guys send me a message on Discord and show me uh, where, where you're getting this because I'm I'm, pr I'm pretty curious. I'm very curious. I just want to see. Last time, the source was semi-reputable. And so even though I was skeptical about the whole Circle Shadow Nightwolf and MK1 Scorpion, I was pretty skeptical, skeptical about it. But I was like, ooh, it's a pretty reputable source. And with that in mind, 
I was like, mm, there's there's actually a good chance this stuff is real. But I still covered it and went, uh, eh, I'd be on the lookout for this one. WTF for Cedric. Circle Shadow Night Wolf. Yeah, that was that was something I said was probably a lie. Like I didn't think that was a real leak. And then it turned out to be a real leak. <laughs> I said I called it a rumor just to be safe, you know. I didn't I didn't think that one was real, and then it it, it hit like a brick. And just as two and onslaught will uh have priestmaker will mk mobile have the same you know i thought so i thought we were going to get an update very soon and have peacemaker added but uh we didn't not even close i am skeptical i don't think that peacemaker will make it into mk mobile your account is so crazy I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Got blessed by another coup day stream. Went to another live stream. Yeah, honest. Oh my God, guys, you're making me blush. I'm really happy to be back. I missed you guys so unbelievably much. I couldn't stream there with that whole week and I really wanted to, but I was so unbelievably sick. I had to recover, but I'm back better than ever unreal passion okay so that's probably good are we gonna get a classic scarlet i would like to see one because her classic skin looks uh, pretty pretty hot does scarlet have love interest with tremor oh god damn it i need to restart my game i should have done that i forgot about that I don't know what to do anymore. You know, well, that's a really good point, Prixine. Um, sorry, I think I said your name wrong. Prinxine Ken. Prixie, Prixie Ken. Yeah, something like that. Um, the game doesn't give you a direction of where you need to go. Like, there's no incentive to do a certain thing. Like, you get characters, but the game doesn't tell you or inform you that that's the right call. There's no right call anywhere pointed out into the game. But like in a game like Genshin, they say, hey, collect artifacts. Hey, this piece looks good. Like they give you hints, especially during events. They give you hints on what you're doing, if it's right or not. But this game just doesn't. So I feel like that would be a good way for this game to uh, help out the players. Okay, let's move on to Cold Scarlet now. Got to make sure to take out that war in the name. <laughs> MK Mobile story mode. I don't think it's gonna happen, y'all. The reason why I've never said anything about MK Mobile story mode, I did in the past before Onslaught. But the reason why I don't say anything about it now is because Onslaught replaced that entirely. There's no way we're getting a story mode after Onslaught. I'm sorry. No way. The developers that they just found a different game to put this story in. Alright, X-ray. Can you say hit that like button? Hit that like button! Wait, hold on. I see zero likes. Is there actually zero likes? Is no one hitting the like button? Or, am I, or is my screen just like really far behind? <laughs> Dude, that's disgraceful. Oh my god, he regened. It's at 24. Oh, okay. My thing's just really far behind. 35? Oh god, no, it's going up. You guys are hitting that like button. How long take you to get Fusion X on all cards? Well, there's a lot of money involved. Uh, money. Yeah. If you want to get max all cards, it's either going to take you actual years or money. I would like to point that out. Try not to give you guys false illusions. Yeah, we're just going to need to use Scorpion. Please don't. Please don't. Oh my god. I wish that fire actually got cast upon. My boy. The best thing about Genshin is that we can play it for as long as we want, but we can't do that in MK Mobile. What do you mean we can play it as long as we want, but we can't do that in MK Mobile? I, I guess I don't see what you mean by that. Wait, hold on. What what can you play for long in Genshin? 
why not play MK Onslaught? I've played a, a little bit of that game. Uh, my biggest gripe with the game is probably the combat system. I guess I just, I can't get into. It has little content, that is true. You're right, you're right. There's not a lot of little things. Genshin, the thing that Genshin has over MK Mobile is obviously the fact that they spent hundreds of millions of dollars making the game. Uh, but also they have little things. Little things go a long way, even in relationships. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, no, it's like having a relationship with your, uh, the game players, you know, um, you need to have tiny Easter eggs. Yeah. Am I, am I also late? No, you're early in my book. Oh, this guy has nothing. That would explain why we were doing zero damage with him. Legit zero. You need something. Let's give you this and let's give you this. Okay. I think your videos are funny. You're so comforting. So thank you for posting. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Hope the next tower is either. Oh, I should restart my game. What's happening? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Hopefully the next tower, either new or repeat, will not have blind effects. Oh, that is something we cannot get rid of. Even a new tower would have blind. I have to say that. That is one thing I don't like about MK Mobile compared to Injustice 2 Mobile and other MK games is that they don't just put obviously annoying crap that you have to fight up against just to piss you off. Like in MK Mobile, it feels like they add it just to piss you off. And I'm like, that's... No, it's supposed to be a challenge, not just to piss you off. <laughs> like, what? <sighs> The combat is met in Onslaught. Also, the story mode in M the story mode in MK MK Onslaught is kind of okay. I see there's a lot of good chapters, but there's also a lot of chapters that are just really boring. And Chronicle events, it's a, an extremely interesting concept, but oh my god, some of these Chronicle events are just garbage. Peacemaker's Chronicle event, all he does is just say all the characters are bangable. And then he has a big crush on him. And then he just says, I want peace at the end. That's it. That's it. That's his entire Chronicle event. It's so boring. <laughs> it's so boring. Okay. It's got nothing of content in it. Nothing of substance. I said nothing of content. Sometimes MK Mobile is hard. Yeah, definitely. Uh, right now. you can use team elder god i'm killed in fujin and fire god yeah i can i can i can use that oh my god you know what no are you kidding me that's not good i really need a brutality i hope i can get a brutality we have no block breaker i oh i'm getting really infuriated right now by this guy if I could just get him in a loop, we'd be fine, but we can't get him in a loop because he keeps tagging in and out, tagging in and out, tagging in and out, so we can't focus on him. No. 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 Freeze resisted. This... <sighs> okay. Okay, we good. Oh my... Can Fatality come to the game? You can sue a leg against the last, last opponent. No, because... Think about this. How can they make a fatality work against an MK1 character? Especially an MK9 character. A fatality is against a character in MK... Like, MKX fatality is the only thing in this game because it's against a specific MKX character. That is always going to be the same. Fatality should be really interesting, but hard to introduce. Like, it would be really hard to introduce those. Please make update 5.3 is the best ever in the day. <laughs> yes. The answer to that is yes. Who's the best Circle Shadow character? I'm going to say Circle Shadow Sub-Zero. Anyone agree? Or maybe Kung Lao. Kung Lao and Sub-Zero. Please don't, please don't use to be one. I think that's it. Oh my. I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, it's time for some scorpion. Oh, okay. 
Please you, Scorpion. Oh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't don't do anything I ask. Oh, nice. Okay, we actually did kill him off. Thank God. Now he's gonna regen quite a bit. Oh, he snared me. You <sighs> don't use SP1. I don't we can't stop him from using SP1. We're snared. Oh, okay, no, we actually can't stop him. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I like Circle Shadow Quan Chi. That's your favorite favorite Circle Shadow character? Now he's decent in some ways, but I feel like he would not be my favorite in any way, shape, or form. Okay, yeah, he's blocking. Oh my god, we actually block breaked. Okay, let's use the P1. Oh, he's going to use this P2. Hopefully he doesn't get geek defense, is he? He doesn't. We got lucky. Why is he regening? He's on fire. I don't know why he's on fire. Did he use this P1? I don't remember him using this P1. Whatever. Enemy boss stock freeze. Yeah. Why are you getting on fire? Am I applying fire? I can't do that. Team burning. Stop applying team burning. It's a boss. Why is it applying? It's your equipment applying, applying fire. But why is he getting on? I thought they fixed this. I thought they fixed this. This is ridiculous. They need to fix this again. Dude, if the fire can't do damage, then why would it apply? Because it benefits them. I know, but this was a glitch that they mostly fixed. Like, it, it, it was it was semi-solved, but it seems like some of it is still happening. Oh, that's so annoying. When is the update, Kude? Next week or two. For sure. Next week or two. It's, it, the, the update's actually in development. Um, we just have to wait for them to finish uh, fully implementing it. All right, yeah. All right, we're just gonna get this guy down. Okay. It's SP2 of Cold Scorpion. No, cause I only used SP2 once. It was my combo enders. I think it was my combo enders cause I have Spectre's Burning Vengeance on. And it was applying fire. For some reason he was eating it up, which is so annoying. I wanna use Scarlet. Does Scarlet have a block breaker? She does not. She needs one desperately if we're going to win. Um, all right, we'll get team block breaking. And yeah, no, we'll have Restless Ninja figure on. We're trying to do brutality. That's all we want to do. Ever seen anyone use this many tries? For what, a tower battle? Mm. We're just on stream. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. Oh, this is it. Okay, gonna have to block. Goodbye. No, oh my. <laughs> That's, is that not it? That's not it? Okay, this is it. Oh my. No. You, you're kidding. Brutality, Scar Scarlet. Scarlet. Any day now. Any, any day now. Any day now, any day now, please, please, <laughs> what, Scarlet, Scarlet, I have brutality, oh, there we go, holy moly, holy moly, yeah, the only thing that we're gonna miss drastically is definitely the horse stance, what if we just, like, don't say anything about it, and then maybe they just, like, don't know how to fix it, add intros and outros, like, MK, MK games, hmm, now, that would be difficult with certain characters, but honestly, with fatalities, I'm okay with them adding fatalities. They just need to add it in a way that actually can apply to every character in the game. <coughs> because every character in the game needs to be affected by it, even MK9 characters and MKX. Um, <laughs> yeah, your Scarlet was bugging. She, oh, I got Scarlet. Well, thanks. That's the yeah. Scarlet had me worried too. She needed to do her job and do it right. Fatality like friendship mechanic. Yeah. Oh my god. I think we're gonna want to restart our game 
really quick, y'all. Just because we want to make sure that we don't get that stupid message again. So I will quickly do that. Because that met yeah, I just got it literally the second I just canceled my my screen. Um Yeah, no, we just want we don't wanna keep getting that pop-up. It's really annoying. It's affecting the stream. So we're gonna fix that. Give me one sec, y'all. One sec. This will this will mean I have to like load in again. Oh, let's check the comments here. Where, where is Maxwell the cat? So Sammy is sleeping in another room, and uh, Daisy never comes in here because she hates me. And with that in mind, no cats are available. Unfortunately, I would have my cat here, but he's unavailable. He's kind of on a business trip. He don't want to show himself. I get it. He doesn't like the fame, y'all. <laughs> he doesn't like the fame. You, you guys, you guys are scaring him, overloading him. All right, that should be good. What do you want today? Uh, this week's crypt. Did it just refresh? Like just refresh? If it did, I'll go check. What are the chances of Injustice Two Sub Zero winning the pool? Oh, oh, sorry, being added, the one who won the poll. Um, very slim. It seems like poll winners are just kind of not being factored in. You get what I'm saying? Oh, it just did refresh. What's going on with this? Crypto Sub-Zero. Nightmare Jason Boris. Lizard Jade. Okay. Nightmare... Uh, sorry, not Nightmare. Uh, actually, well, there is a Nightmare. But I was going to say Circle Shot of Sub-Zero. Oh my god. Am I too tired? Circle Shot of Nightwolf is a decent character to get one copy of, I'd say. It's a decent character to get one one copy. And Nightmare? Yeah. How about this? Bloodsucker and Jinseiha. Jinseiha is a good gear to get your I like to get your hands on. Only one copy, though. Um, it's better at Max Fusion. Jason Effing Voorhees, yeah, honestly. They should add intros and outros. So I read your comment, but I try to think about it realistically and like, how could they do that? I feel like what people don't factor in is definitely the limitations with what they actually can add content wise. There's a lot of good things they can add, don't get me wrong. But I also think that we have to take a step back and realize it would be extremely difficult to add freaking intros and outros for characters that they literally can't add it for um and like if the other character doesn't talk back that just seems kind of weird you get what i'm saying how to get a combo underwear and scorpion brutality uh you need to have these gears to be able to do a a scorpion brutality you need specters burning vengeance okay from shirayu tower or specters infernal chains not or, sorry, both. <laughs> I should have I should have said that. I have a video going over how to use brutality. Uh Jensei hat. May I start grabbing crimp now? Yeah. It's a it's definitely a good gear. More ad, more bug coming. Hmm. Here and there. There might be a few bugs. What tower do you think will come next? I feel like White Lotus. I'm giving I'm getting White Lotus vibes. And someone just mentioned that they think um what was it that was uh, was it White Lotus that was just said? Which is funny because I didn't read that earlier. I just kind of said White Lotus or Elder Wind, yeah. Elder Wind, White Lotus, something like that. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. Uh I we've had Dark Queens, we've had so many other towers. I just feel like Earth Realm, White Lotus and Elder Wind are high up on the list for them this is team gameplay too, please i've actually thought about that I'll, I'll consider pulling them out okay let's put my shield on i heard about white lotus too yeah it's funny i i said that before anyone came in here and said that that was part of a leak but pretty funny all right let's, let's throw my axe throw that axe back <laughs> so no new tower 
Mm, not that I'm aware of at the moment. Uh, there's no, there's none like going on. Uh, and if if you mean adding a brand new tower to the game, we don't have any news on that. We won't have any news on that. I'm very sorry to say, but the developers have not added a new tower for several updates now. So I wouldn't get like comfortable thinking that they're going to add a new tower with this next update. They're probably going to repeat and add a ton of new characters and content. That's what I'm saying. So don't don't think that they're gonna add a new tower. Don't don't ha don't get high up on your li uh, on, like. Don't get your hopes up high for that. All right, we we freaked up, y'all. We freaked up big time. All right, please die. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. We can't. That did 144,000 damage? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? So we're going to enable DDR. There we go. Are you serious? Okay. Looks like we're going to need death mark, guys. Looks like we're going to need death mark. Or something. No, death mark on talent tree doesn't work, though, right? That, that's what that's what's going on. Please use Injustice 2, Raiden, Fire God the King, and MK11 Food Gems here. My favorite Elder God team. Sure. Sure, I'll use that in a bit. Alright. We gotta be careful. I was playing like butt cheeks last game. That's just because I didn't expect them to actually win. But we obviously can't do that. Can a multiplayer system come to this game? Just asking. Uh, the foundation is not solid for a multiplayer experience. The developers would have to add really good servers. The developers had to, add, to take a lot of time to figure out a way to actually make multiplayer possible because the combat system, you can tell, is very offline based. Like where like you wouldn't be able to um, fight someone in real time with the kind of combo owners they have at the moment, if you see what I'm saying. Okay, we're going to tag him with uh, Circle Shadow Sub-Zero. Uh, Sub-Zero, oh my god, I keep saying Sub-Zero, it's Nightwolf. Bat this man down. That's a fa that's a fatality uh, special attack too. That's that's what's so funny about it. Lizard team next. Yeah, we'll do lizard team next probably. I know people have been wanting to see a gold team. A diamond Tanya would be pretty cool. MK1 Tanya or like an older one? Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. I love Kung Lao sometimes. And Brutality, right? Yes! Get down, sir. We still got our shield. No damage, buddy. No damage. Why'd you even try? Why'd you even try? That was, that was foolish, man. Goodbye. Good night. You're, it's over. Oh, we're gonna have to block. More, oh, oh, well, uh, thank God we didn't die. Good. I love this Kung Lao too. Yeah, th this is just the reason why they need to add a new Kung Lao. This should not be the only Kung Lao in MK Mobile. I swear to God. We should add a Lizard Challenge. Yeah, they should. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have used a special attack because I know, no, he's gonna just come back. Okay. Let's just use, let's try to see if we can get Brutality. All right, we're gonna take the risk. Brutality, please. Oh my God. This is like teasing me. I'm at the edge of my seat right now. Oh my. Oh, we're not going to get Brutality. Because this game is lame. <laughs> Damn. So close. The game wasn't feeling it. MK11 Kung Lao when? Exactly. I would be fine with an MK1 Kung Lao too because they look the same. I think out of everyone from MK11, uh, Kung Lao is the one character that looks the exact same. I'm going to go look up pictures again. MK11 Kung Lao and M verse uh side by side with mk1 kung lao they really don't look that different they really don't i can't help you if you mean like me logging in but join my discord server and definitely have a look at um i have read real person's names in faction wars that game cannot add like 
what is I, that I don't understand. Real person's names? Like, real names is in first name and last name? Or are you talking about just real names in general? The game is actually technically online, but keep in mind that the game is not, like, you don't have real time fighting. This is an online game without real time fighting, if that's what you mean. To ask. Where is Lizard Noob? Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Boy, come out. Okay, where are you? Are you are you gone? I, do I not have him? Oh, I do. Okay, I'm blind, guys. Keep in mind. I don't have vision. All right, Baraka. Baraka's on my number one priority list. Oh, there you are. I don't have any victory stances for these y'all for these these people. Like I just want to point that out. No victory stances, and they're not even leveled up properly. <laughs> yeah, I could have used a team filter, but sometimes the filter takes longer to get access to than just putting it on yourself. Wait, is he tier zero? No way. No, he's not. Okay. About to say, you were scaring me. I was actually concerned there for a second. All right, let's use uh, that. Yeah. Yeah, that and like that. Just thinking, like for fun. Yep. Um, weather warfare would be kind of fun with him because you can just keep spamming. Uh, that. Yep. And um, we thinking storm hat. Yeah. Let's think here. Yep, that will work. General's father's gun and frost mask. All opponent, all opponents are robots or in recovery mode. <laughs> yeah, no, the bots, the bots are so similar. I feel the fans are adverse to MK1 Tanya's design, so I would prefer an older classic design for Diamond Tanya. Really? So like an MKX Tanya, huh? Or like an MK9? Was she a thing in MK9? I don't think so. All right. 15 seconds of unblockable attacks, but we get attacked. Oh my god, almost using an SP2. You gotta be really careful with this guy. If you use an SP2 at the wrong time, it is over. Keep that in mind. Oh, this is an all for one type deal. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we've got power generation. Okay, I think we do need a snare uh, brain. Oh, well, well, you don't even have that choice. Hopefully we don't lose it very soon. Oh, good. Uh, Lizard Jade is genuinely one of my favorite characters just because of her spreading damage to the entire team. It's actually insane. She does so much. Look at the amount of damage she does to the entire enemy team. It's, it's unfair. Okay, let's use, oh, shoot. Not good. God, no. Okay. They're all regening. Oh, no. Tell us about anniversary sale. So, uh, at the beginning of this live stream, what I said about the anniversary, is that I predict it is going to be um, with uh, every pack, D Divine Storm, uh, freaking Elemental Warriors, maybe even Flames of Summer pack. Like every, yeah, we lost. I need to have more classic tower gear on. What I need is ceremonial pipe as well. They cannot be regening. That's ridiculous. But yeah, no, I think every pack's gonna come and keep in mind that we're gonna get a free diamond for the anniversary. We're gonna get a free diamond. The anniversary community pack is gonna come back. At the time, everything felt so special, but keep in mind that this game uh, added so much for last anniversary that they're just gonna reuse a lot of the stuff from last anniversary. Um, yeah, just wanted, I just wanna tell you that. When is the anniversary? So the anniversary of the actual game is April 7th. But when is the anniversary gonna start, like the packs? That would be on April, second third fourth somewhere around there it's gonna start a few days before the anniversary maybe even a week before so 
yeah, that that's that's your answer. Suki defense. Let's do. Yeah, that'll work. What is bro supports? What do you mean? I'm confused. It's so weird seeing this game again after a year of not playing it. Did they add any new characters from MK1? Um, if you if it's been a year since you played the game, you're gonna be severely disappointed that to to hear that they only added one MK1 character and it was MK1 Scorpion. It's one of my most popular videos on my channel, which I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, and I hope that with more MK1 characters, my videos will take off. But oh, hey, surprise from Else Daily. Yo, glad you could make it, man. Glad you could make it. Um, I think Predator character would be cool, too. Yeah, they lost licensing for that, unfortunately. It's one of those characters that no matter how much they want to add it, they can't. They're going to have to pay a lot in licensing fees. They already lost it for MKX. So, as much as I would like that character, too, we won't be getting it. They missed their opportunity to add that one. They added Jason and all these other characters at the time when it came out, but no. I got a job to interview this week, and I just got my driver's, uh, sorry, and I just got my driver's license, you mean? Not test, right? Hope that's what you mean. Uh, but happy to hear that. Life seems like it's going uphill for you. This is the time, man. This is the time. Don't let no one stop you. MKX Tanya, yeah. She wasn't MK9. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. That's weird. I'm kind of, I'm going crazy. I think I'm, I'm thinking of the older games. All right, it's over, buddy. It's over, buddy. Oh, 200,000 damage. We didn't even need to do all that. Impressive. They are full of SP3s. What these characters are? I don't know. Uh, I think it's, it's going to start on April 3rd. April 3rd. Okay. That would be that would be a decent time to predict. Yeah. I would I would say a couple days before the anniversary is when it's gonna start. Yeah. Uh update 5.3 though will be probably coming out in the next week or two. I feel like we're gonna get the update just a little bit before the anniversary. Honestly, I'm not ready. Like not ready in in a in a good way. Kind of. Like I <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff going on. And it's going to add on to my stuff I'm doing, but MK Mobile is going to take for full priority of my life when that update comes out. It really is. My life is chaotic as hell, but please allow me to um, add on to it. I like the I like the, the chaos. I like feeling like uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Those team thrills are so up. Team damage plus rock and token is amazing. Yeah. Like, really. Blizzard team is one of my favorites because the whole team actually comes together and works. Adenian Blood team is almost perfect. It's so close to being perfect, Adenian Blood team. But Sindel is a literal joke. She does practically nothing for her characters. Every one of these characters are fighters. The only one who's kind of weak when it comes to damage is Lizard Noob Cybot. He's not the best damage dealer, but he still can fight way better than a Denny and Blood Sindel can. And what is her what is her purpose? She literally serves zero purpose. <laughs> I, I, I hate her so much. She just has big knockers. That's it. Well, not even that. They couldn't do that for us. <laughs> no. Goodbye. That didn't even kill him. Yeah, look. See, he can do something. The Zipporaka. Makes me nervous in crit battles. Oh, yeah. I think the next update will introduce Peacemaker, you think? See, I didn't think Peacemaker was going to be added just because um, it, it's not the time anymore. It's just as two mobile and Onslaught update at the same time, but MK Mobile didn't. I, I really did think that MK Mobile was going to update with Injustice 2 and MK Onslaught. I thought they were. And then when they didn't, I was like, really? You serious? For real, for real? That's usually a given. But it's okay. I, I, I knew that the update would be a month later then. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, Sindel's a joke. I know, right? Like, what? 
what were they thinking? Like, seriously, what were they thinking? Call of Duty Warzone Mobile just released in India today. It actually released in the App Store for me too. My friend told me about it and he asked me if I if you want if I wanted to play with him uh, for Warzone. He's, it's a game he was waiting for in the App Store. So I signed up for the pre-order and uh, just dropped. I might be playing it with him soon. See how that game goes. Big fan from India. Huge supporter. <laughs> Happy to hear it. Thank you for being a viewer. Um, that residence is basically a residence is basically a stun. Are we talking about uh, lizard team or are we talking about the Adenia blood? Is MK9 available for play? Um, like, what do you mean? I don't think you can buy it anymore. No, because you can't buy MK9 on Steam. I actually had to go and buy a license key just to play it on, on Steam. They took it down. Really sad. So you can still get it, but it's eventually going to go up in price. I'd so be careful. I had to pay like, I think I had to pay like $12 for MK9, which is crazy because the game's hella old. I am happy with the three diamonds, but they were all Fusion Zero, MK1, I'm sorry, MK11 Scorpion. Uh, and Kelvin Sub Zero and Fire Other Gang. They are really good at fus Fusion Zero. Yeah, I think they are. Please use Injustice 2 Raiden, Fire Other King, MK11 Fusion Sure. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Okay, we're gonna save this team just because people will ask me to play this again. I should have thought about putting Lizard Team on. I knew you guys would want that one. Okay, so we're gonna have to swap out Shao Kahn. That's that's the character you want me to replace. I would have put MK11 Fujin instead. Uh, and absolutely. So put MK11 Fujin. And what was the newest tower that introduces uh, stuff? Was it uh, White Lotus Tower? Pretty sure it's White Lotus Tower. It is White Lotus Tower. So we'll put his, we'll put his brutality game gear on. Did I almost say gay? I messaged someone gay instead of like help. I messaged someone gay. I, I don't know why, but my brain typed gay. What is up with me? I don't know. <laughs> I need help. I still have MK9 on PS3. I might have to look for look uh for it like that. On are you talking about on Steam? Uh like looking for it on Steam. But that's cool you own it on, on PS3 because eventually that's gonna be worth some money. Since yeah, they don't they don't sell the game. It's actually insane. They don't sell the game like they used to. It, they pulled it. I think it's because they lost licensing for a lot of the stuff. So the game was just like dead. The developers can't legally sell it to you because um, of the licensing issues. I think that's how it goes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but please make a review of New Crypt Store. Absolutely. I think I m might be uh, make a video about that tonight. I have a video I'm editing. You guys are going to like that one. The one I'm editing right now, you guys are gonna like it. Just get ready. I'm waking up for what? Is there an update? Uh, I was saying soon because it's gonna be in the next week or two. So I just wanted to go over a few things about the next update, like what character I'm most excited for, which is MK1 Smoke. Uh, but also someone came in here and they were talking about leaks. And for anyone who is new to the, oh god, anyone who's new to the uh, chat right now. The leaks were that Sub Zero and was it was it Sub Zero and uh, Frank? What was the other character that they said? Sub Zero and uh, oh, Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung, Shang Tsung. No, they didn't say Liu Kang. They didn't say Liu Kang. They said Sub Zero and Liu Kang were gonna get added to MK Mobile in the next update. MK ones. And the next friendships are going to be Liu Kang and Sub-Zeros. That was the leaks. I have i don't have any way to confirm that, but... Interesting. Smoke? Now, they didn't say anything about smoke, but... I, w I hope so. I really do. MK1 Tremor? No. As much as I like Tremor, I don't want him to be a character that they add. Not gonna lie. Hopefully, I'm not the only one who thinks that. There's a lot of better characters to choose from. 
Oh, please don't kill me. Thanks. Please don't evade. Oh, no. No. No, buddy. Please don't do this to me. Peacemaker 80%. Yeah, there's still a decent chance it might be Peacemaker. I'm not going to lie. Honestly. What? Okay. Let's do a poll. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Give me one sec. I need to, I need to know this. I need to know this. How do I do this? Oh. Oh, start poll. Here we go. Do you want Peacemaker? Guys, answer the poll. You guys gotta answer that poll. I, I gotta know. Do you guys want Peacemaker? Is that a character you guys are excited for? Yes or no? Be interesting to hear. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Jason. I'm not giving you any chance to breathe. Oh, Resurrection? Perfect. That means I get to do brutal ending against you. Oh, come on. You sissy cat. Oh, you sissy cat. Now you leave me here with Freddy. God damn it. Rather have MK1 Smoke or Kenshi TBH. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's an overwhelming yes, though. Yeah. 62% of people out of out of 43 votes, 60% say that they do want Peacemaker. Have you played all Mortal Kombat games? I have not because I did not grow up with the original Mortal Kombats. I probably played a little bit of the arcade when I was younger, but not a whole lot. I can't say I'm a huge like old Mortal Kombat fan. And that's just because I I couldn't grow up with it. I wasn't old enough to. I had to start with like MK9, MK10, uh, and get in during the MKX times. That's when I got into into MK Mobile, M not MK Mobile, sorry, MK as a franchise is during MKX times. Yeah. Do you work with N NRS? Nope. Nope. Never. I'm open to the idea of it, but I've never actually done it. We definitely need MK1 smoke. Yes, dude. MK1 smoke would be so lit. Have you played MK1? I think I probably played on an emulator once to play MK1. Yeah. Like, re if we're talking about, like, recently, yeah. But in my past, I probably played at the arcade once with uh, MK1. No, I said I don't work with NRS. No. No. What Deception or Armageddon? What's MK1's file size? It is large. It is large. No, I haven't played Deception or Armageddon, by the way. No. I could. I feel like some things are just, like, too old for me. Like, I, I need to have a reason to go back and play a lot of that stuff. Like, I wouldn't gain a whole lot out of it. That's why I kind of focus on the newer MK uh, titles. Because I don't want to focus on all the past. I just want to be able to focus on the stuff that is current and what people are mostly doing. Not everyone is playing those older games. Hundred gigabytes for MK1. MK1 Shao Kahn and MK1 Ermac is looks so evil. MK1 Shao Kahn looks decent MK MK1. I I, I got to say. I got can like triggered, not triggered. Oh my god. I got canceled for saying MK uh MK1 Shao Kahn because it's general Shao. But uh overall, I think his character is nice. I still prefer MK9 Shao Kahn any day of the week. Why did they put Sha Sh Shinnok as a diamond even though he's a main character in MK? Uh, good question. I don't, I, you know what? I think the reason why they didn't make, uh, Shinaka diamond is because his characters suck. Like genuinely his characters suck. They are actual garbage. Both Ven vengeful and bone shaper. And there's some, there's some use for bone shaper or was it, was it, was it vengeful or bone shaper that they have a decent special attack too. But that's it. That's it. No other Thing is good about the Shinnok characters. And so, there's no reason to use them. 
Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to use this P1 right away. Nice. Goodbye. Oh, oops. They are regening. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. That's incredibly irritating. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> they did, did they did they make MK1 Shinnok? I don't remember if they did. No. They did not. Shinnok is not an MK1 in any way. The only thing they did was um tease his uh whatever it's called. Oh, that's not good. I don't think I can regen. This is going to be really difficult to regen when they just keep ignoring my special attack too. Yeah, and I'm dead. How did you get a fatal blow? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I don't get it. Should they add old characters like Taven or Shinjinko? Uh, Shin 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 Shinjinko. Okay, yeah, Shinjinko. I think that's what it is. Sorry, it's been a while since I've heard that name. Um, I mean, in all reality, let's be real. MK Mobile. Oh, let's end this poll, by the way. Oh, for some reason, it was a yes. But um, those games are too old. And most people who play MK Mobile don't know or care about those characters. I'm just going to say it. Do I? I think Shijinko would be a cool character to add. But Taven? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I feel like that's just more hassle than it's worth. Most people would not get it. or And they would not care. MK11 Liu Kang for Fatal Classic Tower. Those eva evasions end with him. Oh, yeah. I, I probably should be doing that. You are so right. I even have an MK11 Liu Kang. If I lose this game, I will definitely be doing that. Definitely. What do you think the next packs are going to be? So I would say it's going to be very predictable. Um, Divine Storm, uh, Anniversary Community Pack. Definitely going to be uh, an Elemental Warriors Pack. So all the new packs is what you can expect for the next update. Goodbye. Love ya. There you go. I have a friend in the US. Is it possible? giving him an account and buy me souls with <laughs> um yeah that is possible but i would be careful to give your account to someone uh i i will say you did say that you said they were a friend and i'm happy to hear that but just make sure to be safe you know what i mean that is your account and if and if the login details were ever changed. That's it. The game developers are not going to help you. So just just know that if they change the password, you can't get it back. But technically speaking, that is possible. I want to say that technically speaking, uh, a person from the U.S. if they log into your account, they can buy Tap Joy Souls for you. So yeah, that is possible. Which M MK game is best in your opinion? Also, I'm lagging a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Well, we're gonna do Fujin Brutality. Feeling it. Goodbye. Uh, I would say the best game is probably MK11. No doubt about it. MKX had a lot. A, and a lot of good things. And I actually look back on MKX very fondly. But there is something to be said about MK11. With how much of a smash hit it really is was mk1 is not my favorite game it, it isn't something feels bare bones about mk1 and i've never been able to shake the feeling that there's something bare bones about the game i i don't know if you guys can relate to this but yeah something is bare bones about mk11 not mk11 sorry mk1 that it just isn't present in mk11 it doesn't feel that like it's polished the way that mk11 was polished uh, and the thing about mk1 is that they gave us early access yet like i remember when i first launched up the game for early access and i went oh this is definitely a beta but then when i launched the main game the official one i was like 
oh, this kind of still feels like beta, but just with more characters. And I began to realize the, the feeling didn't go away. Even after beta, the feeling didn't go away with MK1. It didn't. Oh, we're going to have to save this, by the way. Oh, shoot. This is a new team. My bad. Okay. We good. MK11, yeah. Everyone's agreeing with me. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, MK11 is my favorite. Uh, MKX is almost my favorite. But I don't like its story mode. I think the ending is still god awful. MK11, you can say what you want about the MK11 story. It's the best. It still is the best. MK1 story is good and it starts off really strong but it gets really messy towards the end and i don't think that mk11 story gets as messy towards the end i think that start to finish the mk11 story has the the best foundation i do like and but, but like i said though mk1 story has amazing potential and i feel like if they Oh shoot, I just stole from Scorpion. Scorpion, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'll give that back. I'll give that back. Don't don't think I would take that for you forever. Dark Elder King was awesome. His battle with Chronicle and Titan Shang Tsung were freaking awesome. Yeah, they were. I I seriously like the idea for MK1 story though. I was so unbelievably hyped, uncontrollably hyped. But then there's a little bit of a letdown. A little bit and how could they make a perfect game after mk11 how could they make a perfect game we were probably hype trying to hype up way too much maybe oh we have friendship gear on that's why we're doing so much damage there's a lot of mistakes in mk11 story there definitely is and don't don't get me wrong there definitely is but i don't think they're as um noticeable as mk1 story MK11 may be good without Sentry on. Yeah? Mm. SP2. Goodbye. Classic looking or MK11 Scorpion. I'm gonna say MK11 Scorpion. I think MK11 Scorpion is a better fighter than Classic Luke King. I also think Classic Luke King is a much better boss character than he is an actual character. Because as a boss, he gets to take advantage of that fire and you don't. Actually, you still can be set on fire. But not as much as the bosses can. Also, SP2 with the dragon is so useless in a, in a boss battle. MK11 Liu Kang is so good with favorite toy and Princess Guard. Thanks to his incredible, useful SP2. Yeah, and he, he, he gains power incredibly fast i have to agree with you oh i'm sorcerer once uh was in your mem membership how do you get it oh I, I better answer kevin though uh kevin uh to get a diamond card you just need to open diamond packs you need to grind towers and also play the crypt mode if you want to buy a guaranteed diamond of your choice. Uh, but thank you so much, Sor Sorcerer. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I do remember you being a YouTube member, but I'm trying to remember the Discord stuff. Yeah, it's been a while. Not sure that'd be amazing. They definitely change the store to not include resells oh that would be really nice but i feel like even games like genshin have a problem with that i feel like it's mk mk mobile is not going to be exclusive to that problem oh boy that was hacking with blue king oh x-ray you banned me oh was your discord account hacked that's probably it then that's probably why i I was having troubles recognizing you. Um, that sucks. I wouldn't have banned you otherwise, so. Yeah. 
What's the best package? You mean tower or what? Let's end off MK11 Sub Zero. Oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> nice. I love MK11 Liu Kang. You know, MK11 Liu Kang grew on a lot of people. When MK11 Liu Kang was first released, he had a lot of lovers, right? He had a lot of lovers. But remember all the people who said MK11 Liu Kang sucked, that he was awful, that he had zero purpose. Remember that? Everyone was like, oh, he sucks. He has zero purpose. He's so trash. I hate him. He was not a good addition to the MK11 team. But that flip-flopped in a lot of people's minds. Just, just like now. Everybody's using MK11 Liu Kang. Everybody. My Brad, that was autocorrect. What was the best? Oh, so what were you, what were you trying to say? Were you trying to say tower? I can, I can tell you what my favorite tower is. I just got to make sure I know what you're talking about. He's easily top five. Yeah, he made it into my top 10 or the community one, the community one. <laughs> I'm sad to say that he was actually a character and I didn't put him in the top 10 when I, when I made my own list, which by the way, I have a lot of fun making those top 10 videos. So glad I started asking you guys to submit your top 10s. Oh, good, good night. <clears throat> Can they add MK11 story into MK Mobile with low graphics? Oh no, dude. No, no. Come on, dude. What? No. They're not adding MK11. You know, guys, is it just me? But does anyone vividly remember MK MKX's story taking place somewhere in the game? Like, when I first started playing MKX Mobile, I remember there being a bit of MKX story inside the game. Was it when you started up the game, it gave you the intro to MK11, uh, sorry, MKX. It gave you the full uncut intro to MKX. And I feel like I'm crazy because I look back at old videos and that doesn't exist. I don't know if I'm crazy. Am I crazy? There was like, I swear there was MKX story shown. I don't know. MK11 took a while to grow on people. I think with higher fusions, he became he becomes such a beast yeah even even with low fusions but you're you're so right that over time i think a lot of people started um fusing up those videos are fire which ones oh the top 10 oh yeah <laughs> just to make sure i knew what you're talking about oh shoot is this one where i don't get any sp2 damage I, I'm doing damage, but not a whole lot. Oh, it's probably good. Oh, this is we're fighting bosses guys I'm so sorry. I can't even recognize when we're fighting bosses. I'm I'm blind. I Love how a special two is block breaking sometimes too uh, What's your thoughts on circle shadow nightwolf? I think he's an underwhelming character for a fusion zero status I think that mk11 Liu Kang has a lot more potential at fusion zero than uh, What's his name? Um Circles on a Night Wolf will ever have. But I've, at high fusions, the character can be pretty nice. I like the, the shield breaking. I like how often he throws his axe. There's some good teams you can use him on. Not gonna lie. There are. But less less teams. Alright, we need to use Sindel. We have not used Sindel even like once. Nope. Nope, buddy. Not feeling it today. He didn't get stunned? Well, that sucks. That's not good. We're not gonna do any block breaking. We don't have Luke Kang. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sindel is useless sometimes, I swear to god. She really is. Sometimes she's great, but oh my god. When they just resist all your stuns, it is so annoying. No, Sindel, please. Alright, we're tagging out. We're tag- Oh, we can't tag out in time. And he just took off all the effects. Oh. Nice. Can new debuff come to MK Mobile? That would be interesting. What would you add? What, what, what would be something that you look forward to seeing? I would say with the new MK1 character, I hope they add a new debuff. Yeah, we're not going to be killing anyone off. Alright, we're going to have to use X-Ray. That's just it. That was a good reach, by the way. I almost thought that my X-Ray missed. I don't remember MKX intro and MK Mobile, but I do remember Alliance credits 
with free x-rays oh yeah dude alliance is one of the saddest things they've removed now someone pointed out and i forgot to mention it in the alliance video i do and i should have mentioned it what i should have said was that alliances were only available in story mode they were not available in faction wars quick play i feel like most people do know that but for anyone who wasn't playing at the time they were only available in story mode so if they were to bring it back they they should bring it back with faction wars in mind also uh brenda arnold uh you said i was going to say what is the best pack to get mk11 scorpion oh that's what you meant to say okay the best package to, to the best pack to buy sorry uh to get mk11 scorpion is this pack because it's the only one with a confirmed chance but if you want uh uh less like it's not gonna be guaranteed to get them this way but playing towers grinding crypt and taking initiative that way also has a chance to get you mk11 MK scorpion i would just kind of wait till he just drops casually i wouldn't go for the mk11 combat pack because classic has a lot more uh beginner characters nrs banned one of my accounts for syncing issues um well sad to hear that but it is it is a little difficult for them for them to confirm anything to you because they don't say why you get banned so you are assuming you got banned for that but there could be other like issues that they somehow noticed and banned you for so, i would keep that in mind sub-zero you you have uh you have eyes but will not see and then scorpion's just like i will see you die <laughs> i have quoted that intro so many times because i've seen that start screen one too many times <laughs> one too many times i love that so much though what an epic way to start the game and then be let down when nothing like that exists when you get in i swear the game has incredible fighting but we need more stuff like that we do we so do that intro for, when you start mk mk mobile like all right i asked my girlfriend i said what do you think about the intro to mk mobile do you think that the like the game's tutorial is good like rate it and she said i give it like a i think she gave it a 10 out of 10 for tutorials she gave it a 10 out of 10 like clearly the game starts off pretty freaking strong it's easy it's understandable if they would just add more stuff like that quality of life stuff it could be pretty freaking nice to get new people into the game just saying mk is the best game which one? Which MK game? What do you mean? Tap to use the friendship? Wait, no, I did tap to use the friendship. Oh, never mind then. We're not using it yet. Why would I even say tap to use friendship when it wasn't going to be a friendship? Alright, we're reaching. Yeah, 10 out of 10. That tutorial is so strong. It goes hard. Well, we, uh, we, we, we lose. That's over. Alright, x-ray. We're not, we're not going to watch it. Please stun. Pl please stun. Please. Oh, oops. I did not mean to use stun twice. I thought that the stun didn't go through like ever all my other stuns, but it did. My bad. That's, that is completely my bad. You're not immune to blind if MK11 Liu Kang is dead. Yeah. 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 I'm feeling that right now as we speak. <laughs> I'm feeling that right now. So why would they go back and introduce fatalities in the beginning and then never uh go back to it yeah yeah no fatality is the most inconsistent thing in mk mobile oh shoot yeah i just wanted to kill me because he's regening super misleading i know right when this game has some of the best fighting in a mobile game it's so sad that they that they throw so many fatalities in your face and go hey look at what this game can do and then they just never do anything with it. And it's like, dude, you have such a great fighting system. If you would just expand upon that, that is what could get you the players. You could just show the fighting. Why would you start with fatalities if that's not what people are? Why attract the wrong audience for the game? People who just want to see fatalities and cool animations. 
when you could be attracting different types of players. Just saying. A lot of OGs fell in love with the game because of the fatalities back when combos didn't exist in gameplay. It was all special moves and jumping. <laughs> oh yeah. I can I can totally see that. I still remember when when uh the game first came out. Uh my brother's friends, they uh they called this game like garbage. And they were like, is Cody still playing that that MK mobile game? And it's so funny to tell them all these years later. And I and I did. I told my bro my brother's friends like all these years later. Yeah, yeah, I'm still playing that game, by the way. That game that you said that was garbage, I'm still playing it and I made in made it a career out of it. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> you guys are judging. You guys are judging low key. And uh, I'm still vibing with this game. We're not stopping. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is not good. You know what? Liu Kang, come save us. Come and save us, buddy. We need you. And I need you right now. All right. Brutality, please. Oh, no. Oh no, Liu Kang's gonna die. Okay, that, yeah, friendship. Just friendship this baby up. We're not taking any chances. I want to use Sindel Brutality, but we're not even gonna risk it. I love that MK11 Liu Kang and his MK11 teammates counter evasions and blinds. Movies that start in Wicked Soldier Gallon are nothing to them. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, with, with this, this tower in particular, MK11 Liu Kang is seeing a skyrocket amount of usage. All right, classic brain, geek defense, and coin charm. Don't like it. Don't like it. I want Fatal Classic Tower 100 and not Joker, which fought with low fusions. One and a half years, and about eight to nine decent fusion diamonds. Damn. But hey, that's not bad. That's a good amount for for a year and a half. That's like actually pretty good. It's a lot of progress. You should be proud of that. Your your brother's friends' children to so play this game in twenty years. It's not stopping. Nine years, guys. Hold up. I forgot to mention that. Keep in mind that this game is one year away from being a decade part of my life. A freaking decade part of my life. This game has been with me since childhood to adulthood. 10 freaking years almost. That is insane. We're coming up on nine, just this, just, just this anniversary. Coming up on nine, next year will be freaking ten. I have no idea what they're gonna do for ten, but it's probably gonna be insane. Because for five, they did a lot. A decade is pretty great longevity. It is, and so when people say that this game is dead or dying, I would like to point out that this game has a lot more life than some games that have been 10 years old. Think about some of the the biggest games in media. Like we're talking about Blizzard games that have only had a couple years of lifespan and they have t hundreds of millions of dollars thrown into them and only have a couple of years of lifespan. So for a game like this to have 10 years almost and still going strong. I would say this game is still going strong when it comes to the actual game itself. The gameplay is good and the, the fighting system is still nice. They just need to add more content. That's it. Content is a thing that can be added. The problem is when a game's foundation is so miserably bad that they can't do it. And there's a, there's a few issues with the foundation of this game, but not enough to say that it's uh, a problem. MK Mobile is about to be a teenager. Oh no. Oh no. It is. Imagine when this game is 20 years old. My kids will be playing this game. Guys, my kids will be playing this game. Probably. What do you guys what do you guys think about that? 
What, what team am I supposed to be using? What am I doing? I heard WB is going to focus on live service games going forward. Oh, God. Kill me now. Kill me now. I hope that decision doesn't go well for them. You know what? I actually pray for bad luck going forward with that. I, I hope that does not end well. I don't. This game is super better than Injustice 2 Mobile by a long shot. Yes! And I noticed something about Injustice 2 Mobile that I never put the pieces together. I don't know why I never did. But Injustice 2 Mobile is a 12 plus game. Okay? It's a 12 plus game. And so the game is targeted towards like 12 and plus. There's no violence. No graphics. Uh, when it comes to like being assaulted or anything like that in the game. And MK Mobile is rated 17 plus. So the game itself feels so much more uh, vibrant. Like they can add more, they can be more risky. And just through mobile, I knew it didn't have violence, but I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't think it was gonna be freaking 12 plus. That's a that's a huge difference in audience. There are a lot of people who are under 17, obviously playing MK Mobile, like a lot. Don't get me wrong, but for the official age to be 12 plus is it says something about um, that game. Does MK Mobile think people follow the age restriction? No, no, definitely not. I just think that the that the game itself will design it after 17 plus. Even if younger people play it, it's still designed for people who are 17 plus. So. People who play who are under 17 will still get the same benefits. They'll still be able to have all that, the 17 plus score and all that stuff. Yeah. Did I miss something important? Sorry, I'm, I'm late. Uh, it's no problem, man. Uh, also, if the Discord link is not working, that would mean that you were banned at some point. This could be because your account got hacked and you were spreading a virus link or you did something really bad if the link does not if it, the links has expired you were probably banned before and the only way to have that problem fixed is to contact me or else daily on uh and like discord or instagram or whatever and um from there you can tell me what account was banned and i can look into it but i can't fix the problem because discord will automatically ban you from joining and so if I can't unban the account that was banned, it it's over. Yeah. I just want I just wanted to say that for anyone who does say that the invite link is invalid. That that's why. I think they should add one erotic skin of Katana, Scarlet, or Sindel. That would attract people to the game. I I think so too. So one thing I, I mean I like showed a lot of this game to my girlfriend, right? And she would say like, why did the care like the character profile icons look so good? And then when you actually click on the character, the model does not look as good as the profile picture. It's like a catfish. And I have to say for a lot of characters in MK Mobile, it's so true. Like when you click on MK and Scorpion, you're not let down. You're not let down in the slightest. It, the character model looks incredible. But with a character like Sindel, that icon looks incredible. And then when I click on the character, what is that? Like, it just doesn't give the same vibe at all. It's not all the same as the character icon, in my opinion. It's only similar. So, I do think they need to start adding more scantily skins. Think about games like Genshin Impact, where they add characters with a bunch of scantily skins. They know what they're doing. And it works. It freaking works. Why doesn't MK Mobile do it too? I don't get it. You're so right. They need to add more scandaly skins, like erotic skins to this game. They so they they've gotta. And they have had some characters like that. Classic Jade is one of it, uh, is an example. Her, her skin is like a bodysuit and it looks hella nice. She's one of my favorite characters just for that alone. And I'm sitting here thinking, why don't they just do more, like, add more characters like that? MK9 skins, that's right! MK9 pride, man! 
MK9 Pride. Do you prefer a defensive or offensive talent tree? Definitely offensive because it's more fun. Defensive is not a bad talent tree though. Some people will call you a sissy cat if you play with it though. Keep that in mind. <laughs> you show that to your friends at school, they're going to look at you and go, I'm sad to call you my friend. I feel like they should add more dark characters from Shang Tsung's timeline. Oh, that would be so cool. Now, okay, you know, actually, that would be pretty freaking sick. MK9 skins are T's. ICL. What's ICL mean? <laughs> or T's, ICL. Yeah, okay, sorry. I don't get that abbreviation, but yeah, no, they are kind of a T's. I need a classic Scarlet. I can't lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to feel old. Yeah. But. Classic. Cl there's a lot of MK9 skins in MK11. Classic Jade is a great example that, that her skin comes from MK9. Not MK9, sorry. MK, MK11. MK9 Jade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And MK9 Katana. Holy moly. Holy moly. Many characters have been covered with their face masks. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Let's go look at some good looking characters. Is the update going to be on 27th of March? I don't know why that's been going around exactly, but I, would, I wouldn't put throw it out the realms of possibility because I said the next week or two is when the update's going to come out. So 27th of March is a good time to predict this. Wouldn't I mind having a Lee May come to the game? Yeah. Lee Mei. Lee Mei would be nice. Why is it that gold characters get better skins than the diamonds sometimes? Uh, Lizard Jade. I think she's a pretty decent character. Not scanily, but the character itself is pretty fun. Um, this is where they messed up. This is where they messed up. This is, this is, this is, uh... Ooh. Mistakes were made. What about... Let's see here. Classic Sonya. Is she is she a tease? Uh -huh. She's her face is a little disturbing, but the character model is good. Um, what was well, we were gonna go look at Classic Jade for a second? Jade. Yes. She is the one character I can definitively say I am in love with. This is the type of character they need to add. Like more of this, please. Classic Scarlet would make my day. If they made it a skin like this, Classic Scarlet, it would make my day. Just saying. Pyramids of Tanya, she's all right. And you know what? I am I think this is a decent character, like, when it comes to erotic skins or whatever. Like, it's a decent character to attract. Uh, I don't know, eye candy. Classic Molina is all right as well. But she's too white. <laughs> Maybe they need to tone down on the on the whiteness on the characters. They need to, you're spitting spitting right now with classic Jade. Uh oh shoot, I just clicked fight on a regular battle. Why'd I do that? I'm not even trying to play a regular battle. I gotta refrain from answering that question, Venus. That's uh that's a question I, I don't think I can answer. But the answer is uh I feel like you can predict the answer though. Yeah, I'll just give you that. See, MK11 Jade looks horrible. MK11 Jade, you know, oh, that's the thing. Even the most disgusting characters in certain video games still have erotic skins. But with MK, I feel like when they make a character downright devilish, like Revenants, they never make them attractive. Like, you always hear the hear me out about characters that are like demons. That's because they're still designed with like erotic skins, but in MK, they just don't do that. They just don't. Jade is a weird character. Why? Don't, don't be dissing my, my girl Jade. Don't be doing that. I don't care about Molina's teeth. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. That's not. I don't want to hear the hear me outs. Nope, we're done. No more hear me outs, y'all. 
I go on Twitter and I see some crazy hear me outs on MKA characters. Like it'll be a shirtless picture of Rain, and it'll be like, what what do you guys think? What would you do to this guy if you were in a room with him? And I'm just like, oh no. Oh no, Twitter, no. Oh yeah, no. Man absolutely despises MK11 Jade. Nobody hates Jade more than man. Nobody hates him more. I uh, hate her, sorry, more than man. <laughs> Nobody. Revenants went from pale skin to gray, cracked skin with orange veins. Yeah, what? Like, I can't, yeah, actually, good point. Let me just go look up MK9 Revenants. Shoot, you're right. The, the Revenants in MK9 still looked like people so there's a pot potential for hear me out but with the gray skin maybe it was a little overkill maybe hold on let me go look here a revenant sindel would not be bad by the way i would be okay with the revenant sindel i take it assassin jade's fine i think her skin's all right not very scantily but yeah this is uh not good i don't like this sonya is a decent fighter but i don't like the skin i'm gonna be honest like i just don't think it looks good mk11 rain looks great <laughs> but you guys my girlfriend pointed out the the like the, the little tip on his hat it looks weird and i'm like now all i can see is that little tip on his hat white it, or his mask, sorry. Like, what is that? <laughs> That's actually it's kind of funny. <laughs> All around an excellent character, but he's got a little, little magic tip on the back. <laughs> Classic smoke is hard to get. Yeah, he is. Because of her effects, she will never get burned by Scorpion. Yeah, I know. What do you want? Tremor's Brutality Gears. Some of my favorite. Bruh! Was that necessary? I feel offended. I feel offended that the game crashed. They didn't mean to, you didn't need to do me like that. I hope that it didn't like wreck my faction more. So I gotta reset my game, guys. Let's let's look at oh I know what I wanna do. Oh god, hold on. Here. This is what I wanna do. MK11, MK1 Liu Kang, MK1 Homelander. Oh shoot, that's not what it. Oh no, there we go. Tell me, out of all these characters, who do you want the most? We need to have some kind of distraction, okay? <laughs> Let me just distract y'all for a second. Shinnok. Shinnok? Corrupt Shinnok. Not Homelander? Guys, I'm hearing the wrong answers. We're not we're not saying Homelander. Like, what's going on? Not happy to hear. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised no one's saying Frost. Shinnok or Frost? Oh, wait, actually, someone did say Frost. Shinnok. Shinnok is long overdue. Yeah, he is. A corrupted Shinnok would actually be so fun to play too. One of the most enjoyable and most popular things added to MK Mobile was Shao Kahn. Conquer Shao Kahn. So I do think that Shinnok would bring an immense amount of attention back to MK Mobile, especially if the character was great. Because it would be the only way to play Corrupted Shinnok officially. Because you obviously have to use like mods in MKX to do that. Writing some of the best character designs. I can't unsee that flap on this MK11 fit. Run check. Yeah, I know, right? When she pointed it out, I was like, how did... I never looked at that. Like, why did I never notice that about my man? I never noticed. There's a freaking flap on the back of his mask. <laughs> like, 
Yeah, but you're not wrong. The best character designs are Rain. They really are. Especially Adenia Blood Rain. Because holy Okay, he's not he's not leveled up. But holy crap. One of my favorite characters is freaking M Adenia Blood Rain. Seriously. His design is incredible. Super good. For for MK Mobile at least. For their standards, yeah. Amazing. And classic rain. Nothing needs to be said about him because he's just he's, he's perfect. Oh, come on. Really? You're going to do me like that, MK Mobile? You're going to crash my game and make me lose the entire thing? Seriously? Whatever. All right, let's throw this on. All right, we got one equipment band. Actually, two equipment band. Okay. We'll put Wailing Spirit and... uh, oh, frick. Was it Weather Warfare that got banned? Yeah, Time Traveler's Peace. Okay, we good to go. We good to go. I'm actually offended, though, that they did that to me. We need more characters that can take advantage of freeze gear. Like weather, yeah, like weather warfare. Frost would be an interesting character to add. I see a lot of people saying Frost would be, like, I low-key want Frost, yeah. I can see why. I really can. Shinnok would have an event. Oh, uh, sorry, as an event would also work. Yeah, definitely. Dude, Shinnok as an event would make my day like relic hunt yeah that alone would bring so many people back to mk mobile just a, a crazy amount of people if it was a great way to get the character yeah and an amazing event like relic hunt easy too yeah weather warfare is so broken that bosses and towers have been abusing it even in normal shore value tower i hate who's next weather warfare yeah peacemaker mk1 kenshi Ooh, that's an interesting one, uh, but I'm going to say Kenshi. Listen, Peacemaker would not be a bad character. If Peacemaker was the next character in MK Mobile, I'd be like, okay, because he's an interesting DLC character. But in all reality, I don't really care for him that much. But one character that I've been playing a lot of actually not recently but when i first played mk mobile and mkx mkx mobile i played the hell out of kenshi every single kenshi character we're talking about possess kenshi balance kenshi silver kenshi i love kenshi and to have a great mk1 kenshi fighter would make my day so i know i've just wasted a lot of time giving backstory but i would love to have mk1 kenshi much over peacemaker seriously i've been waiting for a better kenshi that would give me the same vibes as silver but as a diamond because ronin is not it ronin is just ronin kenshi he's, he's just a character that I, I can't really assign to the kenshi status I really like Possessed Kenshi, or only like Possessed Kenshi. Yeah, no, that was the character I used a lot of. What about Ronin Shinnok? So I'm not opposed to a Ronin Shinnok, but I also just don't think I would care all too much. Okay, we're going to skip the song. It's a little loud. Yeah, we want more chill. More chill vibe. I wouldn't I wouldn't be upset with a Ronin Shinnok, but... Uh, like, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm chill with it. But give me like a comparison. Tell me like what do I have to pick between? What's the worst skin in in your opinion? In this game or in MK as a franchise? I probably couldn't tell you in MK cuz there's probably a lot of bad skins that I haven't seen. But in MK Mobile, I will, I'll try to tell you. There's actually a two contenders for the worst skins in MK Mobile. Two contenders. They go crazy with Reiko, in my opinion. Did we say my name? Kendra Lannan? Did I say it? Thank you for, thank you for watching. Oh, they go crazy with Reiko. Do you guys think that Reiko should be added? Reiko would be an interesting one. Well done. Really? War skin is Retro Devora. Hmm. 
Hold on, give me a sec. Nope, no skins. Not skins, sorry, victory chances. You guys are having me mix up my words, not gonna lie. Okay, let's look. Um, I'm gonna say one of the worst skins they ever added. This man. Who is a more useless character than this man? Who is? Who is use? Who uses this? Wretched Devora has more purpose than this. Oh yeah, no. Against dot immunity, Wretched Devora has no passive. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wretched Devora is useless in that regard. But yeah, no. Sh sh uh, Kintaro and uh, check the victory chances for Idenia Blood and Rain. It's so cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no. One of the first things that people noticed about my video when I first played him was his was his victory stances. Here, let me go play it. Hold on. So freaking cool, dude. So freaking cool. <laughs> it's so cool. Kataro is not a good character. <laughs> yeah, no, to say the least, he's not a good skin or character. I like Sh Sh uh, Shao Kahn, um, Warrior Kentaro. In feats of strength, he's the only character to be able to kill Liu Kang. Who has to kill Liu Kang? Who has to kill Liu Kang? Wait, in MK as a franchise, is that a, is that a thing? It, did they give him like bonuses or something? S to your victory stance. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Dude. Adenium Blood's victory stance is... The, you can... There's nothing to complain about it. And his... Also, his taunt... Uh, where it was like... Oh, shoot. Was it like... Better, like, you know who you're talking to, a god or something like that? I have to go look at the taunt again. I don't remember exactly what he says. It is not wise to insult a god. You should react to MK1 tower endings on stream, maybe. Probably on stream, cause like on a video, what like what do I call that? Reacting to the MK1 tower endings. Oh yes, I am why mortals cry. Yeah, that, that that one, the. the it is not wise to insult a god is also really good, but I am why mortals cry. Oh, sends me to heaven. It will be 5.3 ton, uh, ton model, model. Sorry. I'm horrible with names. I'm really bad. It's, it's pathetic. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be 5.3. The developers have already like coded in that it would be 5.3. Like the, the, the number has been confirmed. Just to be, just to be clear. So yeah, 5.3, 5.3, yeah. It's all decided to see Kintar vastly underused. He's not even playable in MK9, MKX, or MK11. Unlike with Goro and Shiva who are playable as DLC characters, yeah. Yeah, no. He didn't get any screen time at all. He just got like a, a piece in the story and that's it. In MK9. <coughs> Ooh. Keep in mind, tower endings in MK9, I'm oh, sorry, MK9, sorry, MK1 are canon. Yeah, but like, they all happen? I don't get that. They don't all happen, do they? Is it up, up to confirm will be released next month? Uh, Either by the end of this month or next month, yes, the update will be released. Oops, that's not good. Let's use SP2, just so I can save myself. Who are the new characters? We don't know for absolute certainty, but there's been a leak going around that's gonna be Sub-Zero and Shang Tsung. And there's also a leak that it's gonna be White Lotus Tower, which is so funny because I had just mentioned that. Out of every single tower I could have talked about, I had said earlier in the stream that I thought White Lotus would be the next repeated tower. So, funny. All right, we tagging it. We, we, we do an SP2 again. Dude, you could just keep spamming SP2 forever. 
when reptile then gonna start the 22nd i'm pretty sure yeah so tomorrow goodbye another sp2 dude we just don't run out of these how come you don't have the blood rain uh leveled up i just didn't do that not for this not for my account yet i will oh shoot no the game's not letting me to oh god okay we gotta be careful goodbye see you later alligator <laughs> oh shield break oh shoot goodbye Picture fill at 55.3k oh whoa you're moving it down yeah not at 50 not 55.3 do you ever think they're going to add Omni-Man? Maybe. I feel like it has to come to Onslaught first. I would be very happy with Omni-Man. However, you know what? Thinking about it now... Excuse me, on. I think they need to focus on other mk1 characters first i want to see a whole cast of mk1s added first before we get omni man that's just me though okay we're gonna need to tag him with this guy and uh use this p1 cripple him again oh we kill him will we ever get a face reveal potentially if i do a face reveal keep in mind guys i don't want to just face reveal and then just not have it be a part of the channel like, why would I do, why would I go through all the work of face revealing if I wasn't going to do it in every video? And that's the problem, because I'm not exactly ready for a face in every single video. That's what I'm saying. Remember when Man mentioned Cold Sub-Zero as Ant-Man? Wait, what? He like called him Ant-Man out of the blue? You know what? Relatable. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh. That's not good. That's really not good. Kiros freezing people and then humping them. Yeah, no. We need that in MK Mobile. That's what MK Mobile is missing. Guys, you don't understand. Oh, this is so not good. I don't want to die. No. I'm going to have to revive. You don't have to do a face reveal do what makes you happy well no i'm not saying i'm being forced to i'm just saying that i want to be a part of every video afterwards so i wouldn't do a face reveal if i wasn't going to put it in every video afterwards you get what i'm saying i just want to make sure that it's a part of the channel i don't want you guys to be missing out because who does the face reveal benefit if you only get to see a screenshot of my face or whatever and people you just get to go okay that's what he looks like and then i just don't have it a part of any video afterwards like, sure, it takes, away, it takes away the mystery, but, like, in a bad way. Like, I want to make sure that... I want to make sure that it's a part of my videos going forward, if I do it. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. This is not good. I really hope I can kill this man. I can! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Elemental Warriors will repeat in April. Yeah, for anniversary? Absolutely. I think that and the Elemental Warriors pack is coming. You have every diamond in the game? Not every diamond. I don't have the, uh, Guardian. Guardian Terminator? People don't ask me to play with him that often, though. Guardian Terminator was a really popular char character when he came out, and then people just kind of forgot about him. Come on. When is the anniversary, by the way? Uh, anniversary will be uh, on April 7th. Sorry. But, like, when will it start? Because the, the anniversary of the game is April 7th, but when will the actual event start? And we don't have a confirmed date, but what we're going to say April 2nd, 3rd, or 4th is when it's going to start. The, when the packs are going to start coming and all the anniversary themed things are going to be added to the game. So keep that, keep that in mind.
Oh shoot, I almost tagged him with Noob Sidebot. That was really close. Are you nervous about the dream situation? No. No, I'm not worried about the dream situation because we're not that big. Our channel's not that big. But, um, why did I say our? Anyways, um, no, I, with dream, there was a lot more anticipation because he had like people wanting to be with him. There were a lot of like people going, oh my God, I want to be with this man for the rest of my life. He's so hot. His voice is like dreamy, literally dreamy, right? And then when he face revealed, they're like, oh my God, wait, this man is not the most attractive person on planet earth. Wow. I, why did I even dream about this guy? <laughs> why did I dream about dream? And so he, uh, got a lot of hate for that. Also, some people thought dream tried to be attractive. Like they thought that when he looked at the camera that he was like, oh, like they thought he tried to be attractive. I don't think he did. I think he just kind of went with the flow, but people took it as I I'm the most hot person on planet earth. I'm, I'm worth a lot or whatever. And some people had a problem with that. Again, I don't think he meant that, but some people took it that way. So they were rating him so harshly. They're like, oh, he's the most ugly person. I was like, what the man? It's not that ugly. Come on. <laughs> like if we're, if we're saying that, that he would be ugly, then like there's people, a lot of people on planet earth are much uglier, but yeah. So I, I'm just, I'm just a massive dream stand. My bad. <laughs> cause, cause I'm saying all this. Will the update come out tomorrow? No. Probably the next week or two. I really don't like what happened. Me neither. Uh, there's a lot of extra things to happen and we're not going to go into it cause this is a lot of drama, but we're just talking about the face and I, even with the whole face debacle, I still feel bad for the guy. But with his with his size, he should have just known that people were gonna say awful things. People were. Then again, I will say for for how bad the hate was when he did his face reveal, dude just powered right through it. He started posting snaps. He probably he started doing everything, and I have to give him some credit for that because after being humiliated like that so badly, a lot of people would just disappear. And stop doing face reveals, not post any pictures. But he didn't care. I gotta give him respect for that. I'm not gonna lie. No matter what, people went to his stream and hated on him to begin with. So no matter how how he looked, they were gonna call him ugly. Yeah, that is that's the sad part. Is people were gonna people were gonna say you're the most ugly person on planet Earth, regardless, just because people will have no heart. <laughs> Then again, it's just point like it's just it's kids saying all that stuff. It's kids. Kids are going to be kids. You know what I mean? You just have to let them do their thing. What's up, Kude? Uh, super, sup chat. I hope you're all doing good. Yeah. But most of them look like beluga whale. Hold on. What's Beluga, Beluga face reveal? Did he do one? Yeah. EBH, uh, I'm a beginner in MK Mobile. In my first pack, uh, I got MK11 Scorpion. Is that good? Yes. Yes. I have to say, um, getting MK11 Scorpion as a starter character is perfect. Yes. You need MK11 Scorpion. He's one of the best characters in this game. Do you want MK11 Diamond Molina? Um. Yeah. MK11 Molina. Any day of the week. And MK1 Molina. I would take her too. I would take her home. Let's cut that part out. <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> Uh, if you buy from third parties, there's always a ban chance. Yeah. Don't mind. Personally, sometimes I just don't want people all in my face. Like, I get why you wouldn't want to show your face in every vid. Yeah, and like, let's be honest. There's going to be days where I'm not looking my best. And that's because 
Oh shoot, I'm in a bad position. Like, I can't look my best when I just woke up. Or X, Y, Z. And I guess, I guess I'm not at the point or I've never, I've never been comfortable with showing like an ugly side. Some people are really comfortable with it and just have like a natural act to do it. But I've never been comfortable with just like walking out looking like uh, Dracula, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, respectfully, don't look my way. Yeah, no, sometimes, yeah, no, you just don't want people to look at you. You're just like, respectfully, don't have your eyes on me. No, I totally get that. I do. I'm gonna lose, by the way. <laughs> Again, I'm Kid Mobile needs fatality packs. We'd love to see actual real fatalities. Yeah, I do agree. I just need to, I just, I, they need a good way to implement brutality, not brutality, sorry, fatalities, though. They really do. What other MK11 characters would you want to see in the game? You know, by the way, sorry, I, I will answer that question, but I want to say one thing. MK Onslaught calls brutalities fatalities, but at least they never mis mislead anyone. They don't start off the game by showing you fatalities and then like just never have a fatality again. You know what? Even Onslaught doesn't have fatalities. Kind of, they just, they just show you exactly what you're going to keep getting into the game. So... Yeah. Well, you were saying, um, what other MK11 characters would you want into the game? I would say we still need a Frost. We need a Kung Lao. MK11 Kung Lao would be amazing. MK11 Katana needs to be added. It's horrendous that we've waited this long for her. My queen. Please don't use anything. I would appreciate it. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna cripple him. Can we actually pull this off? Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard to pull off. This is gonna be so hard to pull off, please. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Please don't, just don't please don't tag out. Okay, if we can get brutality on him, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to kill him, but oh, that's not good. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Damn it. Damn it. Bone shield so cringe. Yeah, no. It is. My face gets wolfy after a few days of not shaving. Oh, I can relate to that. Right, and the, and the worst part about it is like... I like having a beard. Well, I don't have that much of a beard. Like, I like having facial hair. But I like it all being trimmed up. I don't- My facial hair does not grow perfectly. Some people, they just have facial hair that grows perfectly. And, like, they have beards that form perfectly. I'm not like that. And so I like to have to trim all that stuff down. But when you trim it... <sighs> It just doesn't look perfect right away after the trim, and all. Uh, it, 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 it's just, it's not pretty. If I if I just leave it as is, it's not pretty. And that's why I hate it. It's like don't look my way. Not look at my beautiful. Not not look at my beautifulest. Just said best. Pivo POV uh, Cabal is a good character. Yeah. You know what? One more. I don't know how to uh, maintain a long beard. Yeah, no. Like, my hairs, I don't feel like they grow thick enough. And they don't grow around in a perfect form. Like, it all goes to the center. And I'm like, I don't want a goatee. Like, I have no problem people with goatees. It just doesn't look good on me. I can't grow a goatee. It won't look good on me. So, no offense to anyone who actually has a goatee. But, yeah, no. My facial hair does just not grow the way I want it to. And it pisses me off. <laughs> Always trying to get on my nerves. Okay, what are we looking at here? Okay, a couple of bandit equipments. Rip down memory lane. Um, brutality's just started being able to be done. The finish him screen. Before they had to put an input like fatality at the end of the match.
to put an input like at the fatality at the end of the match. Wait, are you talking about an MK Mobile? Or are you talking about the actual game? Shoot. That would have been a long time ago. Okay, our on track is not banned. Okay. You think fatality can fit in gameplay? Same, my beard disappears around the goatee. Like it's like the pork chop sideburns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so frustrating. I hate it so much. Nobody would recognize me from school because I didn't have any facial hair in school. Zero. And that's mainly because any I don't I don't think I was growing facial hair yet. It just happened right after school. But the thing about it is, um, yeah, no, I have a little bit of facial hair right now. It's just an outline, though. It's not strong. It's not, it's not thick. Like, if you looked at me, you wouldn't go, oh, that guy has a full-on beard or has a full-on uh, mustache. You would just say, oh, he's got the outlines. He's like, he's, he, he looks like he's got the outlines going. That's just me. No, I'm, not, I'm not in school right now. Console game. I like their brutalities, but I can't stand no fatalities at the, uh, since this game is base fatalities. Yeah. But what? Okay. Actually, we're going to do a poll with the 89 people who are here right now. Let's do a poll. Would you rather? Would you rather have this brutality and fatality? Sorry. Fatality. MKX or MK11. Would you rather have MKX fatalities or MK11 fatalities in MK Mobile? I have to know. Because this game is based on MKX. But I want to know. Bro, start uploading prediction videos. Updates near. Um, well, I would say I'm going to. But I've done so many predictions that I feel like there's not a whole lot more I can say. This next update will determine protection, prediction, predictions. Pr What's going on with my voice right now? I think it's my Invisalign. But uh, this this update will determine predictions going forward for sure. So the brutality would be like a 100 hit combo when they beat an uh, opponent to a pulp. I think MK versus DC finishing moves for DC characters. Oh. MKX is creative, but MK11 is more brutal than ever. So it's look like some people vote MK MKX, but most people are saying MK11 fatalities are much better. And I have to agree. I would probably choose MK11 if I was voting on this poll myself. Because MKX fatalities don't like I feel like there's not as much anticipation or hype around them. Since they couldn't kill because of the whole DC thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. They didn't have any blood. It was a P. It was that's the that's the thing. It was it was a rated um. Was it PG thirteen? It was a rated PG thirteen game, and that pissed off a lot of people. They were like, "What the hell is MK doing it in a PG thirteen game?" And to be fair, what were they doing in a PG thirteen game? That was a huge flop. The actual idea is amazing, but you cannot make it PG thirteen, dude. It's gotta be rated M. MK just, just does not work in PG. It just doesn't. Can they add brutality for character? Sorry, can they add characters brutality 2.0? Oh, so make a second brutality for characters. Interesting. Okay, yeah. MK11 won by a long shot. Let's do another poll. Um, would you, would you rather, oh shoot, this is a Q&A, why is that, why is that a Q&A, no, pull, would you rather have second brutalities for characters, oops, for, uh, diamonds, we'll say diamonds, okay, diamond, 
or have uh, every brutality added. So would you rather have every brutality possible added for diamond characters or have a second brutality instead? Would you rather start having second brutalities or have brutalities um, all added? Like actually finish all the brutalities in MK. I have to know. What are you guys leaning towards? Because there's a lot of people who want them to finish every brutality in this game. But there's a lot of people who are saying, I just want new brutalities for the same character. Like, I want new Scorpion brutality. Oh, I want this new brutality. Gaming channel, that battle mode. It's just garbage. Yeah. Yeah, no. Battle mode is actually, like, garbage. People will just do it for the credit, and that's it. The one thing battle mode is, is easy. That's it. So, being that I, I started MKX, right? And I finished the story mode pretty quickly when I started MKX Mobile. I have to say that it felt a little interesting to play it when back then but if i was a new player hypothetically if i was a new player i would think battle mode is boring as hell <clears throat> i would think it was boring as hell interesting so 54 percent of you guys said have second brutalities for a diamond and 46% of you guys said have every brutality added. That's really interesting. So there's a lot of people who say, make sure we finish brutalities in MK Mobile. I have every single character that's a diamond have a brutality. Hmm. But but preferably people want to have second diamond second diamond brutalities. So any character that already has a brutality, they want the second one for those characters instead of going back and trying to finish the other characters that people don't care as much about, like Ronan and Takeda. And people would want to take Takeda fatal oh, not fatality, sorry, brutality. They want another Scorpion brutality. Yeah, but we're gonna end the poll. Seems like we're at a standpoint there, like standstill. Forty-four volts, fifty-four to forty-five. Interesting. I would like to see Scorpion Searing Rage Brutality. Ooh. Which one was that one? I'll have to go look that one up. Maybe we add every brutality and their second brutality. Yeah, but the reason why I asked that, that, that specifically is because we're trying to ask between the, the two. The, the Between the two. Like, if you had to choose... Because the developers might not add every brutality in the game. They might not finish. They might just say, hey, if people want to see second brutalities, we're just going to do that first. They might do it. We'll, we'll see. Number team's actually doing okay. Dude, Jason's brutality was so unexpected. When it was added, I was like, oh, hell yeah. What the? What it was? What is that? Excuse me? Why'd you put the knife away? What? What? Dude, just push the knife away. Jason's broken? Like, big time? His SP2 just does, straight up doesn't do anything? Oh, you have to be close to the character. So to fix Jason from casting from a distance, he just doesn't work anymore when you cast from a distance. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. I want to see Kenshi Brutality. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude, a Kenshi Brutality? Oh, frick, yeah. And if- Imagine having a Kenshi Brutality on an MK1 Kenshi character. Ugh. See, Fatalities, I feel like they are possible. Even on characters that they're not meant to be on. So, MK11, the problem with having MK11 Fatalities is that there's a lot of MKX and MK9 characters in this game. And so, what are they gonna do with that? And MK1 characters, too. What are they gonna do with that? Well- to be fair, they already have a solution for it when it comes to brutalities. Brutalities are not affected by it. They were able to get brutalities working on MK1 characters. So Scorpion is an MK1 character, but he his, his MK11 fatality works just fine. Not fatality, sorry, brutality. I meant to say brutality. I keep saying fa fatality. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want I don't want to make those up. Oh my God, she had time to block because of that. You're so you're kidding me. You're kidding me. 
Oh, she's regening. My bad. My bad. I forgot he applies bleed. But you're dead. Yeah, you can use that. No problem. Yep. Nope. Oh my god. Wow. Leatherface is so slow. Okay, we're going to use this P2. Yeah, please die. Jason is bugged. Yeah. Goodbye. SP2 has to be on the nose to work, and its brutality barely triggers. Yeah, and they still can block. The point of doing that was so that she could they couldn't, like, it couldn't miss from a distance. And now it just doesn't work from a distance. <laughs> Jason's always been broken. He always crashed my crypt since three times in a row. Oh, hopefully he doesn't crash mine, because I don't want to lose. I like Nightmare Team for these... Nightmare uh, is panda awesome. Oh no. Oh no, not with the panda. It's okay. I, I'm not pandaist. I'm not anti pandas, but. <laughs> I don't know anything about that movie. Oh yes. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. It's over. You stand no chance. Rest well. Oh, living dead. Oh, brutality anyways. Jason brutality always crash. Really? I did not know that. Dude, they have time to block because of that. That's so annoying. Because you have to cast it up close, they just block every time. Do you use both thumbs when you tap? No, actually what I use is my index finger and my middle finger to tap. And I tap really quickly on it. So I would not be using thumbs if I was you. I'd be using your index finger and middle finger. I feel like that's more efficient, but I could be wrong. Mainly because you have to take your, your, your uh, hand off the screen, but like it wouldn't matter because you're just doing a special attack. For Fatality, they should uh, do when they're only ascended diamond characters only. And it's about to give them the option to either, either have a Brutality. So like between Fatality and Brutality? Sorry. I, yeah, I, it's... I, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> Oh no. Red pandas don't exist. He stunned me. He didn't stun me. Goodbye. Good night. Sleep well. Oh, that's so amazing. I love that damage. Oh! <laughs> we evaded. Sorry, buddy. Good night. Would you want Predator as a character in MKM? Yes. However, the reason I don't talk about Predator or Alien is because it is impossible for them to be added to this game. They lost the licensing for them and they're about to stop selling MKX. Just like they stopped selling MK9. And so I don't talk about it because I know it's not going to happen. Unlike characters uh, like Rambo. Rambo is still possible because MK11 is free, like relatively new. So there's still a chance that it could actually happen. But yeah. Um, I would love to see them as characters if it was if it was possible. I would. Have you ever heard of Blade? Uh, I hear they're doing a reboot. I think it would be cool. Uh, sorry, I think he would be awesome for MKM. Blade. Oh, no, I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to look that one up. Impressive. Are you talking about, like, the... Is it a... What? Is it a show? Oh, my God. That's... That's really bad. I'm tagging out. Hopefully, we regen a little bit. Please do some good damage. Oh. Nope. Goodbye. Nice damage. Oh. Oh! 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 <laughs> You messed with the wrong guy. Wrong man. He's part of the Marvel comics just portrayed by Wesley Snipes. Oh, okay. Marvel comics. Okay. So they're going to be making an adaptation 
like a movie. Is that what that's what that's what about to happen? Hold on, Blade Marvel character. Hopefully that's what you're on about. Let me look. Oh, that guy, that guy. I have seen this guy before. Now that now that um I looked him up. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, no, that would be interesting to see him in MK. I feel like they need to add him to MK1 first. <laughs> you know how, people, how many people were upset when MK Mobile got Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface all in one game, and MKX didn't? MKX only had Jason and Leatherface, and people were so pissed when MK Mobile had all three. That pissed so many people off. And Combat Cup Cassie Cage. People were pissed about that. They're like, why is this game getting so many good skins? But now Onslaught's gonna probably get that eventually. And installing MK- Oh no, my bad. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. Oh my god. I couldn't tag out. Which MK1 character between Scorpion, Sub-Zero, or Smoke? Oh, do you like the most? Probably Scorpion. But if MK1 Smoke gets added to MK Mobile... Oh wait, which MK1 character do you like the most? My bad, I'm so sorry, I should have put that, I should have read that part. Um, MK1 character? I'm gonna say Smoke. Like, if I'm gonna say, like, most fun character to play, Smoke. Because MK1 Scorpion is great, but Smoke is just on a whole other level. Sub-Zero is quite good as well, but I don't think as good. I don't want to see another Sub-Zero. I can't lie, there's way too many, yeah. And they're good too, that's the thing. The only character that's bad is classic Sub-Zero. The rest of the Sub-Zeros, even the gold ones, are pretty freaking solid. So like, most people are saying that they want to see smoke over Sub-Zero. And I have to agree with them on that. Oh good. Let's hope this actually does some damage. That did not kill him. You are joking. Joking. How did that not kill him too? Okay, good. There's no Kratos and MKN. I feel like they probably lost licensing for that. Not gonna lie. Oh, thank you, Leatherface. Oh, hopefully this kills him. Please kill him. Thank God. Wow, that was close. This is the closest game we've had with a nightmare. Well, I'm back. Lizard Baraka, Adenia Blood Katana, and Combat Cup. Sorry, is it you mean Convert Ops Cassie or Combat Cup Cassie? Are the three characters in MK11 to do to only uh, X rays? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. To only X rays? Adenia and Katana? No, because Adenia Blood Katana has MK11. Lizard Baraka and Combat Cup Cassie have MKX, right? I'm so confused. What were you trying to say? Oh my god. We're buying it. This is a mistake. I probably should be buying my, uh. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll buy it after this game. Is there a day for update 5.3? Not exactly. The developers hasn't, haven't confirmed a date as of now. Like you can only do X-rays, not fatal blow. Oh, uh, I don't know. If it's from like the Naple Katana, her, she does the um, MK11 fatal blow, doesn't she? So like, yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, the next update will be in like about a week or two. Sorry for delaying that answer. Oh, speed. Oh, speed. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Well, at least we, re we revive once. Hopefully we kill him. Okay, he's got, re he's got revival. Please, pl please do it. Please do it. Nice. Okay. We can also survive with Leatherface, so we gotta keep that in mind. Okay. No problem. That's okay. We're gonna survive. Oh no. Oh no. 
We're dead. God damn it. I don't know why I used a special attack. I did not know he was going to evade. Okay, at least we have so many evasions and we also live. Oh, no, that's not good. We already died. Please kill him. Oh, no. We're dead. <gasps> Living dead? No way. Oh my god, that was such a close call. That was so close. Do you know that Jason throws his knife after special attack too? I think so. I think so, yeah. Sir Royal Tower. The next tower? We don't know for sure, but let's go open the crypt thing. Not crypt thing, sorry, faction wars thing. I don't have Discord. Oh, don't worry. Discord's really easy to set up. Bro, still live? Yeah. I've been streaming for two hours now. Yeah. Uh, the stream is, is going to be coming to a close soon, though. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. What time is it for you right now? Late. Like AM right now in the morning. When will the update be available? Um, Probably the next week or two. Let's use the health potion. Yeah. Yeah. Health potion this baby up. It's only 5 p.m. Oh my god. You guys are living in crazy time zones. Happy to hear that though. Would you rather have Kratos or Predator? You know what? I'm gonna say Kratos. Actually, mm, no, Predator. Predator. Predator all the way. Imagine a Predator character. I feel like they would go above and beyond for that. Kratos would be pretty simple. I feel like he would just be a god character and that's it. He would just beat people up. A Alien would have some really unique passive to go along with it. I don't- why is this game the old- this game, the one game that doesn't hype updates? I don't know. It's so weird. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we get the brutal ending. Oh my god. Okay, we're just going to kill him the old fashioned way. Okay. Tag out, SP2. Good night, sis. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, okay. Jade wasn't having it. It doesn't even matter if you kill me, because I've got resurrection. Goodbye. Bro found new glitch classic tower coming. Glitch, glitch classic tower coming. What? I don't know. Bruce play? I don't know what that is. If you're talking about, like, okay, just make sure we're talking about glitches, like glitches that you do in the game, and not, like, cheats. Because some people call glitches, sorry, cheats glitches. They're like, oh yeah, I just installed a hacking tool, and it, I was able to glitch the game, and it's like, what? That's not glitching, that's just cheating. Which I mean, like, whatever, but why are you calling it a glitch? Anyways, yeah. Impressive. Watch out for that. I see that a lot. I know why they call it glitches. It's because they're trying to get a, get a bypass YouTube's filters. Because if YouTube knows that you're uploading <laughs> hacking tutorial content, then they will remove it. And also the game company will usually copyright strike the videos. So, yeah. Oh my God, we're invisible. <coughs> okay, I'll take it. Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh, we just got saved. Thanks, Scorpion. Uh huh. Alright, one brutal ending down. We have to be really careful here. Hopefully, this is block breaking. Oh, it's not. That's really not good. 
Oh, stun. Oh, thank God. So we still got resurrection just in case Scarlet becomes a problem. Oh, yep. This is the cool special attack too. That's like secret. Good. Good. Okay, we're gonna try to shoot for brutality. We might as well. Good night. Oh, this could be a bad idea. Screw it. Brutality, please. Really? Bro, two years. Classic tower. Oh, don't talk about that. Don't talk about like cheats and stuff. We're good. When will pack elemental warrior come? I'm now collecting souls. Um. I mean, when the anniversary starts, I'm assuming elemental warriors will be in the middle. I won't. I don't think it's gonna come at the end of everything, but I also don't think it's gonna be at the beginning. God, this suit me really bad. Please kill him. Okay. Oh, it wore off instantly. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. <gasps> oh god. Okay. Uh, oh my god, the SP2. Oh yeah, it's over. I forgot that the tag and damage was gonna kill me. 14. Not the worst deal in the world. So guys, that is going to wrap up this stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have enjoyed this Q&A a lot. Uh, I hopefully I've answered enough people's questions of um, just anything. Very happy. Uh, definitely gonna be doing this again soon. Sorry that it was really late at night. I just uh, decided, well, I still wanted to get one out. Even if it was late at night. Do you stream every day? I don't stream every day. But I'm going to try to stream more frequently. And I say that every single time. But I really mean it this time. I do. Especially with the new update looming on us. I want to stream more often. Thank you guys so much for attending. I hope you guys all have an amazing day or night. If it's late at night. Hopefully this was like your way of getting tired. Getting all sleepy. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. This is Kude saying bye. Peace out.